Welcome to this recording focusing on the National Field Artillery Society's American Flatbow class. In the recording, I hope to be able to do some myth busting and clarifications around the misquotes that's often heard about these rules. This is a breakdown of the American Flatbow rules as shown in the National Field Archery Society's 2020 rulebook. So let's look at the first rules. American flat bow class means that the bow has to be a one piece bow. It can't be a takedown bow. And this is very important to remember because there are a number of flat bows on the market that actually do come apart. It can't be a compound bow, but it can be of any draw weight. So long as the curve is always in one direction, so you can't have a flat bow that's got any amount of a reflex or deflex in the limbs. And this is shown and stated when brace the string must come into, not come into contact, sorry, with the face of either limbs except at the knock grooves. The handle of the flat bow can have a cutaway section, but that cutaway must be less than cut to center. And this is important to remember because some modern bows have their handles and their arrow shelf cut to center or even beyond. That would make it illegal in the American flat bow class for the National Field Archery Society. And it differs from some other societies in the UK. In the American flat bow class, you can only shoot split fingers or Mediterranean loose as it's called here. There is no draw checks of any kind are allowed, so no clickers or anything along that nature. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Mediterranean loose, it's sometimes called split finger. You're allowed only one anchor point when you're shooting an American Flapo class, so there's no face walking or string walking allowed. As for arrows, well the arrow shafts must be made of wood and fletched with natural feathers. This doesn't preclude using bamboo, as in the rules, though it does not state it, you are allowed to use bamboo. You are not allowed to use carbon fiber, fiberglass or aluminium or aluminum for the American listeners. You are not allowed to have any internal or external stabilizers. This is important to remember because some modern bows actually have weights in the handles to actually make them more stable when they are being shot. This isn't allowable. So now let's explore some of the myths and misquotes that you will hear in the American Frat Bow Crafts. The first one, can you shoot three fingers under or split fingers? Well, this isn't true. You have to shoot split finger under the American Flat Bow class, or as I said earlier, Mediterranean loose. You can't shoot three fingers under. The arrow shelf on the bow can be cut past center and padded out. Wrong. Busted. No, there are specific restrictions in the rules which states that a flat bow must be cut proud of center. This differs from other shooting societies where flat bows can be cut to center or beyond. It's quite common now to see takedown flat bows and they are coming onto the market more and more often. However, this rule is busted as far as NFAS is concerned because it has to be a one piece bow. Sometimes it'd be quite difficult to identify if a bow is a one piece because the join is actually underneath the lever grip of the handle. 
lab bows can have a slight reflex deflex in the limb and can still be shot under the flat bow class in NFAS, or National Field Artery Society. Wrong. Now the rules state very clearly the bow must have one continuous curve in one direction. It cannot have any amount of reflex deflex and still be classified as a flat bow under the National Field Artery Society rules. So I hope that's going to have been useful. Let me know if it is. You can find my website off the I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, and I also create podcasts, which you can find on Spotify, all from off the arrow shelf. Thank you.